Hello and welcome to Omixium. You might have seen problems like this, like atom type not found even though I included in the ITP file. You know, these are the typical Gromax errors and also sometimes you might find that atom type NS3 or CS3 is not found. You know, all these kind of errors um, that are encountered during Gromax uh, operations. When you try to utilize the command pdb to gmx, then uh, these problems might occur on your proteins, right? So I have created Python script or a graphical user interface where you can uh, utilize, you can upload the protein structure and it can automatically extract the ligands, the ions, and it can correct your protein structure based on the force field that you choose. For instance, uh, if you type uh, here, let me show you. So I have uh, prepared this, uh, uh, you know, Python script where uh, you can uh, utilize the uh, graphical user interface uh, to upload your protein and then rectify the protein based on the uh, different force fields. For instance, let me show you here. Suppose you have this protein 6LU7PDB and uh, you type in GMX PDB to GMX and then minus F 6LU7.PDB and minus O processed dot grow. Okay. And you have all these options. So since I put here John 36 July 2022 uh, force field, it will show in your current uh, directory. And also you have other force fields like Amber 3 and then uh, Charm 27, Gromos 96, etc. Okay, and then if you type in uh, per se, I am selecting Charm 27, number 9. Okay, and then you type in 1 and you can see that you have these kind of errors, you know. And these errors are nothing but <laughs> you know, um, generally you encounter during uh, this kind of operations, right? So I have created this uh, particular package that you can utilize uh, to, to rectify all the proteins uh, based on the uh, different force fields. And, and then you can also extract out the ligands uh, and the ions, etc. Okay, let me show you. So I'm going to activate the environment. B bin activate. Okay, and then I type in Python PDB prep. Uh, the uh, graphical user interface. So this is the graphical user interface where you can browse the protein. Okay, let me tell you some of the functionalities first. So there are uh, basic settings like you input the PDB file, you can also batch uh, process the PDB files, the number of PDB files that you have, you can um, altogether process it. And then you can select what type of force fields that you require, 36, TAM 27, Gromas, OPLS, Amber 99, uh, etc. And then uh, custom mapping also, if you have uh, a specific force field that uh, you do want to map your protein into that particular force field, that also you can do. And you can also here do the clean structure, remove the waters and ions, and it will give you to this particular directory. Okay, that's the basic protein functionalities. Now, if you go to the advanced, you can um, utilize the target pH and you can also utilize the advanced uh, protonation settings like uh, all of them uh, and you can use the propka for the pk prediction metal coordination and then uh, interactive histidine protonation you know all of the all of the stuff uh, to prepare your protein you can also you know define your histidine uh, aspartic acid glutamic acid cysteine lysine etc yeah okay the basic gromax commands you know that you perform and then if you want to keep the waters then you can keep the crystallographic waters here crystallographic ions over here okay and then uh, then comes the ligands if you have any ligands in your protein structure uh, the complex file then you don't need to extract it and then run uh, gromax on it 
So rather, uh, this particular graphical user interface can process all your ligands. For instance, it can automatically detect the ligands, exclude the water molecules, exclude the common ions, and then uh, it can optimize the ligand geometry as well. Okay, and the number of conformers may be 10 or 20, whatever it is, and then it can, uh, you know, utilize the minimization function by using all these uh, force fields, and then you can apply the Weaver rule, Payne's filtering, and it can also detect the binding site analysis as well. Okay, and these are the results uh, window where it can show the basic processing. So let me upload this structure. 6LU7, this is the basic COVID-19 structure, okay, and you open it, and then I'm going to run the PDB prep. Now you see all the settings are valid, and you can see this is the structure, which has 2,500 atoms, residues were 396, chains were 2, uh, 0 disulfide bonds, and water uh, 84, okay. And then you have ligands like O2J, PJE, or 010, something like that. Okay, there are no issues in uh, creating the structure. So it will create this particular uh, folder, PDB prep out, and then you have the ligands over here. As you can see, all the ligands have been extracted, and these are the conformers of those uh, ligands. Okay, and then you have the structure here, which is the grow file and also the PDB file. So this is the PDB file. Now what you can do is you can utilize this particular PDB file directly to process it. So let me show you. If you go here and then type in gmx pdb2 gmx minus f prepared 6LU7 protein.pdb minus o process dot grow okay and then uh, you choose whatever number eight I guess and then and you can see the file has been successfully optimized for charm 27 force field and you don't have those uh, atom type uh, errors or any any sort of errors that you get uh, over here and also you can process the ligands as well and uh, you have this uh, topology file where you have included this and you can see how well it has extracted all the you know, topology. So no more errors in the Gromax once you process your structures by using this. And it also generates a, a report where you have uh, you know, some of the basic descriptors where it can say that whether it has some uh, Lipinski or Weaver uh, violations or not. You know, the, the basic um, uh, descriptor analysis for your ligands okay and uh, yeah this is it I mean uh, you can also process any any sort of uh, uh, let me also try with this one 2x and I dot PDB it has so many ions and uh, stuff so what I can do is I can run the structures here okay let me run it and now you can see it has been processed now let me go to uh, this one. Yeah, you can see your protein has been processed and you can see the ligands. The ligands are over here. And these are the some of the conformers. Okay, and let me open the structure and you can see a clean structure out of it. So yeah, you can see the clean structure. Now I'm going to superimpose the original structure, which is this one. And you can see there are so many ions and stuff. And you, if you want to keep all these, uh, you know, metal ion coordinations, you can also keep it. But again, uh, for the further processing of uh, Gromax force field, um, like ion generation, etc., you might face problems. So you want a clean protein out of that. So I just cleared out everything. And here you can see um, all the ligands has been cleared. And the option over here, clean structure, remove waters and ions, that means everything has been removed. So it's for the basic functionalities where people do mostly like uh, protein ligand simulation, complex simulations. This is the best tool that you can use. You don't have to go for charm GUI or any other softwares or you don't have to 
um, fool around uh, with the protein to identify what atom types are missing or something like that so it can prepare well for you and these are the force fields that it supports you can also provide a custom uh, force field as well so yeah so this is it and uh, once I hit the you know mark like 4000 watch hours I have uh, uh, described in my uh, previous video also I have mentioned in my previous video also that uh, once I hit the 4000 watch hours uh, criteria I will release this software uh, once I hit the mark thank you very much